What's going on you gorgeous Spurs fans? I'm Craig Mitch, this is Reese James and welcome to another Spurs debate. It's been a while, I've been away, but I am back, Reese. Hold the jokes. And today we are going to be debating about Spurs players. Who should stay and who should go? So we've got three yeah. Spurs players in mind. We're going to kick it off with Musa Dembele and I'm going to say straight off the back, he needs to stay. Oh, he got to go. He got to go. Why? Why has he got to go? Cut your losses. That's what we got to do. Cut our losses. He's, we've had him for ages. I talked about him in a video last week. We talk about him all the time. He's just one of these Spursy players. He was supposed to be the next big thing. Sherwood and everyone saying he's going to be the next guy to go to Real Madrid. But he's not even in the first team anymore. He's a squad player who's not good enough. We're a quick team now. He slows us down. He never passes it forward. I read a stat recently of something like 55% of his passes are backwards. And that's not what we need in a player like that. We need someone who's good. We need a box to box type player in that position. And he's not quick enough to do that. Okay, so, first no, of all, Moussa Dembele is not a box to box player. He's an attacking he midfielder. Be. He's not an attacking midfielder. He's not. He got... is. When we brought him from Fulham, no. he was playing as an attacking midfielder. And we've been playing him out of position Fulham. Fulham. ever since we purchased the man. It's so frustrating. Imagine being a footballer and you're just being played out of position constantly. He is Imagine not... you being a waiter instead of being a comedian. You're going to be upset. You don't I, want to be serving food all I day. I do need the money, so if there's any waiting work available, yeah, I'll, I'll get involved. Just get it um, No, he's not quick enough. He's not creative. He's not a creative enough passer. I'll give you that. He's See not a I'm great saying? passer, but he never loses the ball. The ball sticks to his feet. Exactly. And he glides centre past mid. Players. So you want him as a centre mid, and he's not good enough for centre mid. He's also not good enough at attacking mid. If you did want to play him there, he's not going to get in the team above Ericsson. But that's is who it? he is. He's covered. For, right, who, so if he goes, who's going to play in the hole other than Ericsson when we need someone there? Chadley. Lamella. Lamella, they're wingers. Nah. They are wingers. On Chadley top of that, not a natural okay, born winger, on top is of that, what on. about the fact that Dembele is a proven international? He plays for Belgium, he has tons of caps, and he has chemistry with the likes of Superyan and Chadley. Yeah. Does he? Chemo, we Does need Does he a have chemistry? chemistry? It looks like he, he never never speaks to anyone. They're it mates. looks like he just stays in bed all day, then gets up occasionally to come off the bench. Check their Instagram page. He's pages. constantly napping. They're not mates. And even if they're they are, mates. Who they're cares? bros. They're not mates, they're family members. They have a Belgium, Belgium lost to Wales last week. Yeah, because they had Gareth Belgium. Bale. Yeah, that's who, that's who we should have kept. But yeah. we shouldn't keep Dembele. Yeah. Look, I feel fondly about Dembele. Yeah. I don't want to have a go at him. Okay. I think he's a great guy and he's, done, he's been good for us over the years. I think it's about time. We're moving forwards now. We've got Ben Taleb and Mason. The thing is, when we do play Dembele and we do play him centre mid, yeah, he, he does pass it along the line nicely. But even when he does that, it's so slow. He needs to hit it at the wings in, with pace, like Ben Taleb. Personally, I just feel we need to keep our best players. He's a proven international. He's not one of our best Everyone players. knows he's very talented. And we haven't got many better players in the midfield around him. Look, so I'm not we need saying, to keep him. I'm not saying give him away. Yeah. But if someone comes in, you could go for 10, 12 million. Uh... Someone comes in, Aston Villa want him for 12 mil. All right, well, that was Dembele. We've debated on it. You yeah. let us know in the comments below. Should we keep Dembele or should we sell him like Reese thinks? We should sell him because we've got Stambouli, who I want to keep. Oh, my I'm up for keeping Stambouli. Why do you want to keep Stambouli? Well, we haven't really given him a chance. Everyone gets on Stambouli's back because he was meant to be our summer signing last year or a couple of years ago, whatever. Okay. We've got him from Montpellier, yeah. uh, where he's versatile. So he not only can play centre mid, which he's not been given a chance at yet, and he's a good squad player to have for that for Europe and stuff, but also, for Montpellier, he was playing centre-back, he was playing full-back sometimes. He's good cover for that. Played centre-back against Sydney, looked absolutely quality. Sydney? You're going to talk about Sydney. the fact that he played centre-back for Sydney? One of the biggest cities in Australia. OK, so who is our starting DM? Nabil Bentaleb. Phenomenal yeah. in comparison to Scambouli. Great, absolutely great. Then we have Etienne Capou, oh. another French uh. player who is actually uh. great and plays God. for the French senior national team. No. Stambouli's never had an international cap. Etienne so gonna, Capu is not getting in our squad ever again. We're going to keep Poch a player. Hates the guy. Hold on. We're going to keep a player who has no senior international experience for France. That's what we're going to do. A man who apparently won the league What's with Montpellier, but never had a cap for Paolo, his country. Paolo I want internationals. Paolo Di Canio never played for Italy. Never played for Italy. One of the so? best players ever. Yeah, but not Steve by choice. Steve Bruce won all those cups. Oh God, never played for England. Never got an England cap. We're going to talk about these old school John Terry. Doesn't play for England now. But he had caps. Yeah, but then he turned out to be a horrible racist. He doesn't play anymore. So maybe Stambouli is just a racist in France. Look, let's face facts. Stambouli, Keep him. Stambouli Keep is not good team. enough. Why not? Stambouli could play for the likes of QPR, uh, maybe Brentford. Not Spurs. Uh, Seriously? Come on. You think, you think Stambouli is a Spurs player? Uh, I think he's a Spurs squad player. I think Etienne Capou oh. is a Brentford player. And on top of that, yeah. Etienne Capou is absolutely made to replace Jake Livermore at Hull. Oh. 
He is next in line is it because for the he's whole mid. Is it are we going down that road? Is it because he's light skinned? No, he's exactly how. Is it because he looks how, like Jake Livermore? How dare you? <laughs> All right, I am not John Terry. John I am Terry not Louis Suarez. No, I'm saying he's, yeah. a, he's a Huddleston type player. He's a Jake Livermore type player. Nah. They're those kind of players. They're shit centre mids for us to end up at home. Stambouli is slower than Kapui. No way. He's slower Absolutely than Korluka, no and that is saying something. Stambouli's anyway, strong. Anyway, look, enough of him. Speaking of slow, you're not making mind up on Stambouli. Let's talk about Kyle Walker. When I say slow, I don't mean speed. Let's talk about Kyle Walker. Should Kyle Walker be staying or going? Ah, it's a tricky one, Kyle Walker. It's a very, very tricky one. I think it's another cut your losses type situation with Kyle Walker. What? Kyle I'm ready. Walker? I'm ready to see Kyle, see Kyle Walker go. I've been I'm so frustrated. Remember, I go to Spurs matches. Yeah. He's the only one. Everyone's always shouting. I just, like, oh, for fuck's sake, Kyle. This is such a shame. And it's a shame because he was young player of the year. So he was a good player. And it's, yeah, he's he another Spursy player. He should have been in my list of Spursy players. Young Kyle player Walker. of the year, 2012. Like, yeah, but he's just the potential. But he doesn't defend well enough. And that we can he see doesn't. so many goals because of Kyle Walker. He doesn't, but look. Before he had this awful season this season, which was half a season, by the way, he had that long term injury. Everyone that comes back from long-term injury isn't great. They need to get back into the swing of things. He's probably out partying, doing a bit of rehab. But this season, he'll go into the preseason and he'll become good again. Just have some faith. On top of that, ah. Reese, why do you want to sell all of our senior international players? All the players that play for their country you want to get England. rid of. And then keep players. England. You want to keep players that have no caps. If the only cap Stan Booley has is terrible. probably a snapback. And get your full fellow snapbacks out now, by the way. It's absolutely <laughs> shameless. Uh, I don't know how you think that you can win a debate when you're doing that in the middle of it. Unbelievable. <laughs> God, Look, really honestly, undermines your argument. What I'm saying about Kyle Walker yeah, is go on. Him, him having caps for England, he doesn't even get in the team above Glenn Johnson anymore. So him having caps for England is worthless. Plus England's terrible. The sort of players who do well for England are Jack Wilshire and he's awful. So I don't, I don't know how that's an argument. We're, we're going to sign Kieran Trippier. We've got oh Yedlin. Kieran we're a young, Trippier. exciting team. Yedlin. We're moving things forward. Also, he's Go not on. even good. Kyle Walker's not even good going forward. The only thing he's got is pace, and he's supposedly good going forward. Eric Dyer showed him up when he was playing there. He's an oh, amazing crosser of the ball. Because he scored a couple goals. Eric Dyer, look, assist, Kyle Walker. Assist king. Kyle Walker knows the Premier League inside out, like the back of his hand. Yedlin, yeah, he's come he's from the USA. Going past him, Yedlin, scoring against Yedlin him every has game. played soccer. We don't know if he's qualified for Premier League football yet. You can't go from playing soccer to chance. playing Premier League football. Kyle Walker, you have to stay. International, Dembele has to stay. Stambouli, you know where the door is. No way. Absolutely no way. Anyway, guys, look, we've debated it out. This has been another football debate, but it's not about what we think. We want to know what it's you about guys what think. I think. Who do you agree with, Reese James or Craig Mitch? Let us know in the comments below. This has been Spurred On. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, at Spurred On TV. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Hi guys, it's Barnaby Slater here once again for Spurred on TV. I am in the olive groves of Italia. Mamma mia!